Hello everyone. Well, I just got back from the hospital. Um, I was sitting on the couch, just resting and not doing anything. I was just playing Minecraft, right? And I had like some YouTube. I'm watching uh, Pizza Hut's um, Crazy Craft from a few years ago. I'm watching all of those. And <clears throat> I feel like I'm having a heart attack. Literally, I feel like my, it's like my heart what I thought was my heart was seizing up and everything and I got real scared and I thought I was having some more palpitations and stuff so I called Justin and he was like well call a hospital and see what they say I did and she said just to calm down relax if it doesn't stop within 30 minutes just you can come in if you feel like you need to just turn off all the TV turn everything off and I did. And I just, like, reclined as far back as I could. And I still felt them. So I called Justin. He was eating dinner. Um, and as soon as he got done eating, he came over and waited about ten minutes. And I'm like, no, I still need to go. Because I tried to, I went to go, there, to go pee. And I felt more of them. So we go, and um, <laughs> the lady that checked me in was, like, convinced I was pregnant because I still have not had a menstrual since April. <laughs> I'm like, no, I don't think I am. Um, I have cysts, and that's probably what's stopping it, but she still wanted, she was still insisting I was. I came, still came back negative. I'm not pregnant. But, um... <laughs> Get back there. They do an EKG. It comes back perfect, which is really surprising because I had um, arrhythmia back in 2011, but apparently that's all gone, thankfully. Um, the doctor comes in, asks what happened. I described everything the best I could, and he told me it was a panic attack. And I'm like, what? Are you serious? Really? A panic attack. He's like, yeah, he, he said that he sees them quite often at night when you're relaxing and your mind's just calmed down because it can't, like, you're subconsciously thinking about bad things or something along those lines. And I'm like, really? Wow. And he was surprised that a 31, well, I don't know, well, technically kind of 32 because Monday's my birthday, would be thinking about a heart attack. And I explained, well, because I've had a history of drug use and a smoker, and of course I'm morbidly overweight. And he's like, no, <laughs> you are 100% fine. A normal person like Justin who has never smoked, done anything bad like that, has a one in a million chance and me, I have a three in a million chance because of my weight and all of my history. And so, I was just in shock. It was a panic attack. And I'm like, I am familiar with those. I have panic attacks a lot when it comes to food and medications. And he's like, yeah. <laughs> and he even listened to my heart and everything. And he said, my lungs were clear. Everything was fine. I was just having a severe panic attack. So, apparently what I thought were uh, palpitations, quote-unquote, are not palpitations at all. They're just panic attacks. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm, like, surprised. Like, seriously surprised. But I am so happy and grateful that it is a panic attack and not actually, like, a... um something worse because that was what was worrying me <sighs> but it's like two o'clock in the morning literally I love going to this little bitty hospital because there's not a lot of people that go there so literally you can get in and get out within like an hour and it's awesome but it's like two o'clock in the morning and I need to try to get some rest so yeah panic attacks suck especially when you don't know you're having one 